can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. Damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. locker won't open. Can you try? Hey, what is all this shit doing in my locker? I wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. 
It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Uh... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy. for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem. Try to break the record. Job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Oh man. 
man. No, I just can't do it. There so, is no what's on way. today's... Murphy, would you give me a hand? It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell Murphy, is... Murphy! Could you please help me out here? Is Who's back home? Just toss him in one of the empty seats. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep tight. What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile toward me. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? Your behavior disrupts public order. I must issue a ticket. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price to have the cutest dog in all Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so 
Here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. It's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'd be good to get back to jail. Life as a free man can be tiring. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. Thanks for the help, Murphy. came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. for the fire! Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. 
Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. with a warrant, cop! amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I promise I will cherish you Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I am definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. You you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't can a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? 
Oh, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find Soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way. Might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? 
If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. I told you, you'll find Jack all, cause there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one's gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? 
Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? Oh, it's the metal pick. didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! Evening, officer. Fiction me? And who's a debt collector? Why can't I open the door for him?
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! You need to be taught some manners.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems the meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Con I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. <laughs> There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. But it turned out grocery. If you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say. Good business is where you find it. to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He even introduced me to his family. Need to go. Duty uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the- I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you owe me now. I gotta chillax after all this. I have more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs' place. Yeah, you gotta save the city.
One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. This watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any cl We are still looking. I've already re I heard that he- An old lady approached him at the priest. You believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected it, Mike went to check it out. I heard- And, you and he- Mike- what? I rem- I Do you rem- He never- Why do you- Like that? You guess- I think I- Knowing- He does not know. I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he could- You maybe tell him to come home? I will make sure that he returns home. Thank you. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what type it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Good evening. Need what? Some spare parts? We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all play- That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the info. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. <laughs> I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Print size seven. That's gotta be his. They threw out the chalk. <laughs> Whoa! 
What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. You'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rule? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. And you think my dad has that- Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, and instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense, so he'll let you off with a warning, right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you told my mom about the gun? No, she doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. on the old slaughterhouse. I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure th thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done.
Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any... D you were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others had their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if- I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? It ain't raining. You see that guy down there? He's an asshole. If you feel lonely, you know where to find me, officer.
she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. Congratulated you yet. Here's my favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you. C I was mere, can you tell? Nasty murder. The victim had a history. Any leads? The case is cast. So if you. <laughs> if you is that. Now. Talk to. Uh, uh, what? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Yeah, probably belong to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Rumble. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Oh, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. It's a list of aliens living in ditch. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you... A film set near the courthouse. Casey must have discovered something there. I will verify... Now, the set. Mike was driving, and we heard what we thought was a blown tire, but it was just a gunshot. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for- Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish 
Well, you're doing it without me! Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reached the suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheel. We use a lot of different vans, but I wouldn't know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for him. That does not sound like a task. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. Your proposal may be considered punitive. I will hold anyone who breaks the law responsible. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park. I am looking for... Look! I'm busy! <laughs> but you know what? I, I like your paint job. It would look nice on my new car. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? The perpetrator was someone with skin that seemed to be covered with sunblock. I saw the storyboard. You fit the description. Nice try! But I won't even touch that toxic goo. I've got it in the contract. I use body doubles for all the shots where I'm supposedly covered with it. That bitch! You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the un- His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring! I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be- You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock, and so I had no ch Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost. The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. 
She was likely- but People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. I have an offer for you. You can confess everything now, or you can get in trouble later. Have you ever considered becoming a producer? You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of it. I am not done with you yet. 